Long-term viewers of this channel will know that one of my favorite devices of the last many years have been the Z Fold line of devices. In particular, in this case, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which has been in the carousel of daily drivers for me for a little while. I tend to switch between this and my Surface Duo 2. I really love the multitasking, the larger canvas, but one of the things about the Z Fold 4, and really all of the Z Fold devices, that I think gets pretty massively underappreciated is the cameras on them. A lot of people talk about the cameras, oh, they're mediocre, they're not that great. I pretty strongly disagree with that. I think that the cameras are actually very, very good. And in this video, we're actually gonna be taking the cameras on the Z Fold 4 and comparing them to the cameras on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, a phone that is supposed to have one of the best camera systems on any phone, let alone any Android phone. So, I mean, on paper, it is a far superior camera setup, right? It's higher resolution, the zoom cameras should be better, but at the end of the day, if we put them side by side, what are the results actually going to be? And we're gonna find that out by going shot for shot and comparing these images. Now, as we go through this, the first image is always going to be, as it is the newer phone, the S23 Ultra. The second image will be the Z Fold 4. Now, I'm gonna do my best to call this out as we go through this, but just keep that in mind as we move forward. And we're gonna start with this image here, again, like I said, on the Galaxy, I'm sorry, on the, yeah, on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. These names are very long and very confusing at times. So this image I think does look very nice. Samsung does have their typical color temperature, their warmth, their saturation all at play here. And this does look pretty good. Well, let's zoom in here and let's pixel peep a little bit. Can you read any of this stuff here? You absolutely can. It is quite legible and looks very good. It's a very detailed image. Let's go to the Z Fold 4, which rather than having the 200 megapixel sensor is, I believe if I'm remembering correctly, it is a 50 megapixel sensor. And these two look really, really similar, okay? The saturation, the color tone, really, really similar. Let's zoom in on the fold and see what level of readability we have here. And if you look, that's pretty similar, right? I don't think there's a massive delta of difference between these two in terms of that clarity. Maybe the S23 is a little bit clearer, but that's only gonna be the case. Yeah, I'd say the S23 is just slightly clearer if you zoom way in, but overall, these are very, very similar shots. Inside here, in some kind of lackluster lighting where some of these cameras begin to struggle a little bit, if we zoom in and we look at some of the text on these boxes, look at this small text here, Wear OS by Google. How did it do in terms of the color, in terms of around this light here? I think it's done a pretty good job. The Fold 4 actually is a little bit brighter, which is interesting. And if we zoom in, is this text, it's, a, I mean, okay, what is it, like 5% less readable? It's very, very close. So again, on these two, we have a really, really similar image. On this next shot, again, back on the S23 Ultra, we were in the backyard looking at, at this very large tree. And I like using this one because it has the contrast against usually the much brighter sky. And let's look at what kind of detail in these shadows it's able to resolve. And then let's look at the, the shadow underneath my carport here. Is there any detail being resolved? Look at the little bird feeder. I think that's a hummingbird feeder, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, that's what we have for the S23. Also, look at the color of the barn. That looks actually a little bit drearier than it maybe should, although this is kind of taken on a dreary morning. Over on the Fold 4, well, they've boosted the saturation up quite a bit, actually. There's a bit more detail, I think. Uh, no, that's not really true. The detail, the detail is actually maybe worse here, but the colors definitely are popping a bit harder on the Fold 4 versus on the S23 Ultra. And the result here, and this may just be because I metered it slightly differently, but the Galaxy S23 here kind of looks dead to me, whereas the Fold looks a bit more vibrant and interesting, but that could be down to just the way that the shot was framed and how it was metered. Jumping back to the S23, this is just a really nice detailed shot. There's not a lot of grain in the darker areas, although it is there. Really nice detail 
on the Hummingbird feeder. The barn looks brighter than it did in the last shot. This is a much more colorful shot than the last one. Jumping over to the fold, and the colors are good. The brightness is good. Maybe a little bit oversaturated in some places, but the detail just isn't great. It looks a lot softer than we had on the S23 Ultra. So I'd say that's a big win for the 23. And then inside here, looking at these colorful lights, honestly, won't spend a lot of time on this because if you pixel peep in on the both of them, they look really, really similar. The color temperature is a bit different. And say the 23, again, is a bit more detailed whenever you punch in, but it's not a colossal difference. If you're just looking at these passing by, you're going to think they look pretty similar. Let's look at portrait mode, where I think that actually Galaxy phones have the my favorite portrait mode. I was going to say the best portrait mode, but that is subjective. But they are definitely my favorite portrait mode around. I think that this looks really, really good. I love the soft focus. The way it, it cuts things out is very, very good. Really like this shot from the S23. And over on the Fold 4, guys, it's really, really similar, right? Like, this is a really close shot. If you posted either one of these, people are going to like them. For whatever reason, this shot's warmer than the fold shot, but they're really similar. Jumping over to another shot of my boy Rutherford, and it's a very similar affair. These are really close shots. Let's punch in and look at the detail on the S23, and then jump over and look at the detail on the fold 4, and he is slightly differently positioned, but it's, I mean, it's almost identical. What about night mode, right? Samsung's made a big deal about their nightography, their improvements to their night mode. It was a pretty dark uh, period of time whenever I took this photo. So let's punch in and see if we have any improved detail here. I might have been moving slightly or something because this looks almost blurred. Let's jump over to the fold. And I mean, it's it's really, really similar. I don't personally see a huge jump in the amount of detail available in, in these two shots. And if you just go side by side, one to the other, do you think you could tell me which one was the S23 and which one was the Fold? I mean, the S23 is a bit brighter down here versus the Fold, but, I mean, are either one of these really failing at this shot? I think they both look pretty solid. Now, this one is pretty interesting because this looks like it's a brighter shot, but it's not. If I did not use night mode, this would be a picture of a black screen, okay? It was very, very dark. And in this instance... Yeah, you could say that the S23 definitely did the better job. It definitely brightened things up and got more detail. But that's only an extreme darkness. And I think that that's going to be the story of these two phones. With normal shots, not extreme edge cases, they're going to be very, very similar. It's only when you get into edge cases, high zooms, low, low, low darkness, where you're going to see the difference. So this was taken with the 3X optical, and they both do have a 3X optical. So these should be very, very similar shots. And as you can see, this is fairly detailed. It almost looks a little hazy. It's a little light, a little low contrast here. But you know what? The Z Fold is almost identical in, in all of those terms. The detail is really similar. So at 3X, I don't think you're going to see a big difference, okay? This is 3X again. And could you tell which one was which on these? Probably not. It, it might even be the same sensor. They look almost identical. Now, if you jump up to 10X, where it is 10X optical for the S23 Ultra, and if you zoom in here, the detail is really quite impressive. But at 10X zoom, this is very, very strong. Over to the fold, well, it's having to use a 3X and digitally crop in. And yeah, okay, so at an edge case, over 3X zoom, this is 10X. Yes, there is a very wide delta between these two in terms of their quality. What about the ultra wide? So here we go with the S23 Ultra zooming in. This looks okay, right? It's a decent ultra wide lens. It's saturated, it's colorful on the fold. Again, could you tell me which one was which? Probably not. The ultra wide is almost identical, pretty much the same as that 3X was. Here's another interesting one looking directly into the sun. Just I wanted to see how they could both handle this. And in this instance, I might prefer how the Fold 4 handled this over the S23, but they're both very, very similar and they're both fine. I'm gonna try to save myself some time by filming both of these at the exact same time as usual stock settings, which are 1080p, 30 FPS, no additional uh, smoothening to the video, super steady, none of that stuff, just bone stock. How do these two videos look? How do they compare? 
color, clarity, sound. Let me know. So there you go, guys. Are you pleasantly surprised with how well the Fold 4 actually does hold up in regular usage? I think I was, okay? So when we're talking about the primary camera, the one you're going to use most of the time, yes, the S23 Ultra does resolve a little bit more detail whenever you zoom way in, but it's not something that's going to be all that noticeable unless you're pixel peeping like that, okay? There are going to be some shots, like you saw, where the S23 is, in fact, going to just take the better shot regardless, but more often than not, they're going to be very, very similar. When you go to the 3X zoom, they're going to be very, very similar. When you do the ultra wide, very, very similar. It's only in extreme darkness or extreme levels of zoom that the differences become something that I think is really all that worth noting to begin with. For the average consumer, despite what a lot of people will tell you, the camera on the Fold 4 is very, very good and it is more than good enough for my usage and in fact when you look at these two devices and people have already asked me you know is the s23 going to replace the fold 4 for you are you going to stop using the fold 4 no it's not because i like the folding screen i like the larger screen here and the camera is good enough for me this is just not enough to pull me away from the fold 4 in terms of that camera performance guys if you're new here Hit that subscribe button before you go. Links to purchase these lovely devices via affiliate links in the description down below. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.